What do you think of when you hear the word Hollywood? Grand films, glitz and glamour, global stars making their way through the red carpet? Well, those red carpets have been rolled up and the stars will be seen on picket lines instead because Hollywood is on strike. The Actors Union has decided to take their grievances to the streets. They joined the Writers Guild of America for a double blockbuster strike. This threatens to, to, to bring all movies and TV show shoots to their knees. But why has it come to this? What is behind these momentous strikes? Here's a report. 65,000. That's the number of actors who are going on strike. They are members of the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, or SAG-AFTRA for short. They joined the 11,500 members of the Writers Guild of America who have been on strike since the first week of May. So that's almost 80,000 people who work for Hollywood going on strike. What does that mean? Uh, if they go on strike, essentially all production uh, in the U.S. grinds to a halt and a lot of it internationally because any um, American or union uh, member of the American uh, guilds, which includes a lot of British actors, a lot of international actors, um, will be forbidden from working on uh, studio and streamer uh, projects. Uh, so that will basically stop the whole production machine uh, of, of Hollywood in its tracks. This is the biggest action against film and television studios in 63 years. The last time this happened was in 1960. It pits the studios like Walt Disney, Universal Pictures, Paramount and the like against the stars and writers of their offerings. And the reason is quite simple. Like always, this is about money. We are the victims here. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with are treating us. I cannot believe it, quite frankly, how far apart we are on so many things, how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It is disgusting. Shame on them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment. That was the president of the Screen Actors Guild, and she made a valid point. How is it that Hollywood studios have millions to pay their CEOs, but can't afford to pay the people who actually make the TV shows and movies what they are? And we know the top actors rake in millions as well, but it isn't about them. What about the people working bit part roles, or the newcomers just starting out with any role they can get? Don't they deserve a living wage as they work their way to the top? Don't they deserve to be able to fight off crippling inflation? Apparently, the studios don't think so. I'm not on the board of anything. I'm just a person who works as an actor, and I love getting a paycheck, and I love getting my residuals, and we need to bump up the residuals because what's happening now, because of all the streamers, um, we don't make as much. No one's making as much. The, well, the people who are controlling the studios are making, like, beyond. Like, it's disgusting how much they're making, okay? It's, it's, it's gross. The studios refused to budge when it came to dealing with basic pay issues. But the actors are not having it. They have entered a staring contest with the multi-million dollar studios. And it's a question of who blinks first. What's good for the actors is that it seems even the major stars have their backs. Yesterday, we mentioned the upcoming double blockbuster release of the Barbie movie and Oppenheimer. Barbenheimer as it's being called. Yesterday, the strike was called during the London premiere of Oppenheimer, and the actors walked off midway through the premiere in solidarity with the union. Well, yeah, we wanted to come out and talk about it because we're really proud of it, and we worked really hard on it, and we wanted to, you know, everything was all set up, so we said, well, let's just, let's just do it, you know, and then if they call a strike, we'll go home. If it's going to work at all, we have to be, you know, part of it, and, uh, and it's, I think, a very important um, time in, uh, in these negotiations for both the writers and the actors to kind of set the ground rules for the future because, you know, so much is changing so quickly. The ground rules about the future he's talking about is the other issue being fought over. In a nutshell, it's about the role of artificial intelligence. 
Hollywood was already shaken up recently by the coming of streaming platforms. This upended traditional payment structures and affected actors' dues. But AI threatens to be an even bigger agent of chaos. Studios have already tried to incorporate it into movies, to use AI to generate an actor's younger self. And it seems they want to keep using the technology in the future, without paying the actor their fair dues. Reports say the studios want to use actor likenesses for free forever. Now, technology is bound to evolve and things will change. But all these sweeping changes to the industry should be addressed by all stakeholders together. Not by studios trying to fleece actors and writers. Not by offering them token solutions in a piecemeal fashion. The Screen Actors Guild president said it best. You cannot change the business model as much as it has changed and not expect the contract to change too. We're not going to keep doing incremental changes on a contract that no longer honors what is happening right now with this business model that was foisted upon us. What are we doing? Moving around furniture on the Titanic? It's crazy. So the jig is up, AMPTP. We stand tall. You have to wake up and smell the coffee. We are labor and we stand tall and we demand respect and to be honored for our contribution. You share the wealth because you cannot exist without us. Thank you. With stars adding their firepower to the strike, the question is, will the studio bosses finally listen?